Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff from Films at Home here again with another video. Um, if you noticed, I uploaded a video yesterday. It had been a while since I did a collection update. I figured, hey, I better get something out there for you guys. And then I walked into work today and I had about a million packages with new movies, all new review copies, stuff that hasn't come out yet. So I figured, hey, I gotta make another video real quick. I gotta show these copies off to everybody. Um, so here we go, I got a little pile here. This is all stuff that comes out either the 21st or the 28th. Um, so these would be great Black Friday pickups um, or you know Christmas pickups for whoever you're shopping for. Um, these are all coming out in the next two weeks. And I got some really cool titles here that I wanna talk about. So without further ado, let's dive into it. First up guys, I got the Hitman uh, Bodyguard. Uh, this is a 4K copy, just got this in today. This comes out next Tuesday on the 21st. Um, Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, saw some of the trailers. I actually wanted to go see this in theaters and never got around to it, so I'm excited that I have this here. Um, I heard really good things. It's supposed to be pretty funny, kind of like a buddy cop action movie, so I'm excited to check this one out. Uh, definitely have high hopes considering who's in it, and uh, I'm excited. So next week, I would definitely recommend this one. This is probably the biggest title coming out next week when you consider Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, Gary Oldman, Salma Hayek. Uh, it's got a lot of big names in it. Here's one from uh, Universal that's coming out next week as well on the 21st. This is uh, Birth of the Dragon. Um, it's basically a Bruce Lee biopic. Um, it's all about his life, how he started, uh, how he kind of broke into the business. I mean, if you're a Bruce Lee fan, obviously you're going to really like this. I haven't seen this. I didn't hear much about it. Honestly, the first I think I heard of this is when it showed up uh, in the box uh, just yesterday. So um, I don't know a whole lot about it. It didn't get a lot of hype. Um, but, you know, if you're into martial arts movies and you're into Bruce Lee and you want to kind of check out his origin story, uh, I bet this is worth a watch. Maybe not so much for the mainstream person, but uh, if you're into it, you know, I recommend grabbing this one next week. So I just got this one in from uh, Lionsgate. This comes out the 28th. Uh, this is Woodshock with Kirsten Dunst. Um, looks like kind of a weird movie. Again, another one I didn't hear a whole lot about, but just reading the back cover, it's kind of about like Kirsten Dunst and she's spiraling out. She's had some loss in her life and it, it kind of put her in a spiral. But then she's also dealing with like the effects of this extremely hallucinative drug. Um, so it's kind of a mix of like how she deals with the loss and the reality altering effects it says of the drug. So I, it seems like a pretty artsy uh, indie film, definitely kind of a concept movie, not one that's certainly mainstream by any means but um you know it's stuff like this that's worth checking out you never know what you're gonna find uh this is an a24 movie so if you're into their movies like ex machina uh the witch they did moonlight i mean they've had hit after hit after hit so um i do have high hopes for this considering it's a24 uh we'll see how it is i'll pop it in sometime this week and uh, we'll check it out Next up here, we get another one from Lionsgate. Uh, this is Rememory, uh, starring Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones, obviously. He plays Tyrion Lannister. Um, the movie's about this guy. He's a, a scientific pioneer. Uh, basically, he invents a way to uh, play back somebody's memories and kind of record them and then extract them from the person. But he ends up dead shortly after he discovers this. Um, and his, his wife's looking for answers and Peter Dinklage is kind of this mystery man who shows up at the doorstep and uh, he's going through clues trying to solve the mystery of, of the murder of her husband. Um, I haven't seen this one again, but I assume based on the, on the synopsis of this that it's kind of, it's going to be something tied to the memories that got him killed and Peter Dinklage is going to be able to maybe travel through his memories into this guy's memories. Uh, it's going to be one of those science fiction movies that probably leaves you in a mental pretzel, um, like predestination. If you've seen that, it's probably going to be along those lines. So I'm excited because it sounds like something that's right up my alley. I really like predestination and kind of those mind fuck movies. So I'm excited to check it out, but, uh, you know, we'll see about this one. High hopes, but this one comes out on the 28th. So you can grab this in Two weeks. I'm not sure how wide release it'll be, but uh, with Peter Dinklage pushing it, I assume it'll be at least some stores. Next up here from Universal, I've got Logan Lucky. I uh, didn't end up with a 4K copy this time around. They sent me a Blu-ray to review, uh, but that's all right. I obviously appreciate any review copies I can get. Um, so this movie got uh, good reviews, didn't do well at the box office. Again, it's kind of a, 
a smaller indie movie. It probably didn't have the marketing budget. I saw a few commercials for it. Um, but it's interesting because the cast is obviously huge. We're talking Daniel Craig, Channing Tatum, Adam Driver, who plays Kylo Ren. Um, the, you know, some good names in this, and it looked pretty funny. Um, it kind of felt like one of those movies like The Nice Guys, where it's funny, it's got some action, it's got a good cast, but it just, I don't know, it just doesn't catch on with the general public. Um, but, like, it's a really good movie, and I have high hopes for this one. Um, like it says, the guy who directed Oceans 11, 12, and 13, and Magic Mike, he's behind this one. Uh, that's Steven Soderbergh, uh, so you probably know him, Academy Award winning director. So again, even more credentials behind this movie, but uh, it kind of flew under the radar. So uh, definitely check it out. I recommend you go in and grab this. Um, from what I've seen of it so far, I really liked it. I need to finish it, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, the cast is great. Um, so this one should be pretty wide release on the 28th. You'll be able to grab this in a couple of weeks in stores everywhere. Last up here from uh, Universal again and also HBO. Uh, we've got the, the documentary miniseries, The Defiant Ones. Uh, this is about Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine and kind of their, their rise to power throughout the 80s into the 90s. Dre becomes a huge producer. Jimmy Iovine is obviously a massive producer. Um, they get into the 2000s, Dre hooks up with Eminem, they go huge with that, and then they get into Dre Beats, and it kind of finishes, you know, it starts and finishes with, like, the fact that these guys are literally on the board of directors at Apple now, because Apple bought Beats by Dre, and Jimmy Iovine was also part of that uh, transaction, so you get two guys who started, you know, they started real low in the industry, worked their way up, and now they're on the board of directors at the largest company in the world, um, so it's a really cool story. I love these guys. I love Dr. Dre. I love Eminem, Ice Cube, the guys who were in this that they interviewed. Snoop Dogg, Tom Petty's in this, Bruce Springsteen's in this. I mean, they interviewed everybody for this documentary. Uh, so if you love music and you, and you love kind of hip-hop especially, uh, you're going to really like this one. I definitely recommend it. It's, it's one of the best-reviewed uh, miniseries of the year. So that's about it for today, guys. Like I said, this is kind of a duplicate video. I showed up at work and had all these extra review copies that I had to talk about. So I wanted to cover those for you, let you know it's coming over the next couple of weeks. Um, like I said, Hitman's Bodyguard and Logan Lucky, probably gonna be the two biggest releases that go wide. Uh, Hitman's Bodyguard's the 21st, Logan Lucky's the 28th. Um, the other ones you'll be able to find in, in most stores. I, I assume Best Buy will have uh, Rememory and Woodshock. Um, Target might have it too. Walmart will probably have it. You know, you may not find it at like, I don't know, your FYE or something just because they don't get a ton of movies anymore. But most of the big box stores should have them. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for those. Woodshock being an A24 title. If you collect A24 titles, you know you got to get them with the slipcover. So uh, you're going to want to grab that on release day. Uh, other than that, guys, again, thank you for checking out my video again. I know I went back to back days. But, you know, it is what it is. Stuff comes fast in this industry. They send you movies sometimes. You get eight in a day. Sometimes you get none in a week. So you never know what's going to come. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like this video, definitely leave me a comment. Um, like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, definitely share it with your friends. I'm trying to grow this, like I said, to 400 subscribers by the end of the year. And then hopefully 1,000 soon after that. Um, also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting pictures of new releases. Uh, some new Criterion releases got uh, shown today, Night of the Living Dead and Silence of the Lambs got announced. I announced those pretty much first. You'll catch my stuff first on Instagram. Um, I get the box art from the studios. I put it right out there, let people know when it's coming out. So uh, you're going to want to follow me. It's Films at Home on Instagram. I'll leave a link down in the description again. Um, and until next time, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do anything with the collection behind me. Maybe we'll do some spotlight videos, but uh, I'm going to keep the collection updates coming. You guys love it. I love having you watch, so I appreciate you coming every time and checking out the videos. And Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.